school is contagious. The atmosphere, the attitude, the way your peers interact with one another. I just had two students going to a meeting with a medical resident presenting a poster. That's not happening everywhere. For the first time in my life, I can teach pharmacy students the way that I wish I was taught in pharmacy school. Do people want to be pioneers or are people very content with the status quo? Faculty and administration take our considerations and our feedback that we receive to constantly induce change. I think one of the great things about the pharmacy school here at Neomed is it's part of a medical university. The idea that our pharmacy students and medical students are learning together, they're developing those skills of collaboration and teamwork from the very beginning. To give them a common foundation so then later when they're out practicing, they can talk to each other using the same vocabulary. By being familiar with what other healthcare professionals can do, by being familiar with what they can bring to the table, with knowing how to uh, communicate with those other healthcare professionals. I have taken students from many colleges of pharmacy and when these Neomed students come out in their fourth year to these required rotations. They're really being integrated as part of the healthcare team to work with the physicians and nurses and other healthcare professionals to look at kind of the overall patient care. That will carry over to when they're pharmacists and physicians on a healthcare team. We actually established our own uh, postgraduate year one community residency program. I take two students a month for eight months of the year. They talk to the patients here in the exam room, they assess adherence, they do medication reconciliation, and then they go right out into the hallway and talk with the doctor. What's really nice about it is we can actually take some of the pharmacy students or graduate students and we can help them um, train by them coming into our labs. We're trying to teach students to be active participants in the care of patients and it's not just providing them with the medication. So when they come to our pharmacy, we get them actively involved in talking to patients. Sixty percent of students across the country approximately were accepted into residency programs. with a class size of between 60 and 80, you become very close with your class counterparts, as well as the medical students, we're all very close. The new housing units that they have built in for the students, I mean, are phenomenal. I mean, they're so high tech, they're, you know, they're beautifully designed. If I uh, weren't married and already had bought a house, I, I would definitely have gotten the apartment there. Small universities are a lot more flexible. We can change as needed. Um, we can do things like our interprofessional programs with the pharmacy and me medical students that would take other universities a long time to develop. They're just ready. They have been fully prepared with a rich curriculum of activities in simulated labs, um, talking to patients. I think the word is getting out about this interprofessional collaboration. As you understand what exists today, and you define what you think the opportunity is for the future and you train your students to practice and to go on to define practice which may not exist in today's climate. It's more than just learning out of a textbook. It's really cool, the students here just working together, striving towards that ultimate goal. We know the quality education our students receive, we know what they're capable of doing. To easily put it, when I came here, I just felt at home. For the students who come here, I want them to dream and dream big. Ooh.